Today we're going to be working with lemons, lots of lemons, uh, specifically 3D shapes and applying effects with different warp options and map work. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's pretend we're with a marketing company. Uh, my background is in marketing, so I really like marketing. It's very effective and useful, but so click on star and go ahead and don't make a default star. Double click on the star and we're going to choose uh, 80 and 15 and for points we're going to choose 12. We're going to hit OK. Uh, we're going to take off the stroke so that there is no stroke and it should look like that. Now right now it looks like it's subtracted subtracting the shape but it's not really. Like if we put in a background shape okay, and we make that a color and send that to the back and we lock it um, you'll notice that it doesn't disappear. So in order to actually subtract that shape what we need to do is click on the star hold on the shift key and select the small lemon like the actual lemon not the peel and then we're going to go into window pathfinder and with our pathfinder tab open we're going to click on the second one subtract from shape area and now you'll notice that it's subtracted okay you can always move that around um, to what you need it to be um, Next, we're going to kind of roughen this lemon. It doesn't really look like a lemon too much. It looks too fake, so we're gonna roughen it up a little. Uh, we're gonna go to Effect, Distort, and Transform, and choose Roughen. Now for the size, we're gonna choose three. And for the details, we're gonna choose 13. And we're gonna choose Smooth. I'm gonna hit OK. Okay, now notice it's a little bit uh, more realistic lemony style. We'll go to click on the outward peel and we're gonna go to effect texture and we're gonna choose grain. And with grain selected we're gonna choose uh, 50, 55 and choose clumped and hit OK. Let's notice that it's a little bit more realistic now for that part. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take our lemon. And we're going to insert that in t on the top here. Uh, we're going to rotate it a little bit to the right. Uh, before you do that, make sure you group it. Command G to group. Now we can pick it up and we can rotate it. Okay. Okay, next we're going to work with our text, lots of lemons. Uh, first of all, we're going to go put an effect on it effect, warp. And we're going to choose, mm, let's do rise. So that's fine. And we're going to do a bend at 90%. And hit OK. So now we're going to take that and we're going to insert that right on top of our bar. And I notice it's on the left, on behind it. Uh, all you need to do is hit Command Shift Right Bracket to bring it to the top. And now to the top. Now we're going to on the Appearance tab. You're going to uh, click on the triple line arrow and hit add new stroke okay now with the stroke it's going to be black and the fill is going to be white so Add new fill, and that's going to be white. And then add new stroke, and that's going to be black. 
and we're actually going to go in and put in effect. We're going to go to effect path, effect path, and offset path. Now we're going to choose offset two points. We're going to choose keep the joints and keep four. We're going to hit OK. And there we go. If you notice that now it's white on the inside and there's an offset of the path, there's more space uh, between the two. You can always change it. For example, let's go ahead and go to our fill, double click the fill and change the fill to black. Let's keep it like that. So see the offset path? Uh, we're going to do a drop shadow. So click on lots of lemons, go to effect, stylize, and drop shadow. And we're going to keep it at uh, multiply. And you can choose the color. I'm going to choose maybe an orange-ish. Keep it at the default. Um, but let's change the offsets to four points. And blur, let's give that a two and hit OK. So now notice the drop effect that was applied. Okay, so we're going to use this as a symbol for later. So we're going to draw a box with the selection tool. We're going to group it, Command G, and go to your symbols and hit Control click on the new button. And we're going to call this Lots Lemons. We're going to call that, that's the graphic type, and we're going to hit OK. Okay, so we're done with that. We can delete it. Uh, we're going to go to the ellipse tool. And we're going to do a 285 point. So double click, choose 285 for the width, and click on the word height so it's the same thing. Hit OK. So now we have our uh, ellipse tool. I'm going to bring this down so I can work with it. Now with this, we're going to apply a 3D effect so it looks more realistic. So effect, 3D, and extrude and bevel. Now with this, we're going to choose uh, 30 degrees for this rotation, uh, negative 30 degrees for that one, and negative three so it should look like that if you want to move it manually you can do that but we're going to choose uh, off axis bottom for our extrude depth we're going to choose 75 points and you'll you'll understand what these numbers mean in a minute when we show you what it looks like Go ahead and hit OK. And now you'll notice that our cylinder looks more 3D. Now what we need to do is uh, give it a color. On the right side you have an Appearance tab. If you don't have that, go to Window Appearance. and Double click 3D and Bevel. Go to Map Art. And in Map Art we can decide what goes on each one of these parts. Now if you'll notice, you'll see there's one, two, three. There's like a top, there's a, the bar around it, and then there's the bottom. So there's three sides to the shape. On the first one, we're going to put in that symbol that we made called Lots Lemons. Okay? And we're going to click on side two. Side two is the wraparound. Sorry, that's the bottom. B bottom we won't be seen, so we can leave that. And the third one, we'll choose leaves. Now for leaves, we're going to hit scale to fit, so it automatically scales it. We're going to hit shade artwork, so that way it shades in the background, and we're going to hit OK, and OK.